This video will instruct you on how to obtain DHS datasets and documentation from the DHS website. Datasets from large population-based surveys like the DHS are often too large to store in CSV format. For this reason, the PPA wizard accepts data files, which have the DTA extension. However, it is not necessary to have Stata on your machine in order to work with the DTA files in the PPA wizard. If your country has conducted a DHS, but your team does not have access to the raw data, or if you don't have it in DTA format, you can request it via the DHS website. Now we are looking at the DHS website, dhsprogram.com. Go to Data and then Download Datasets. Here you can view all countries and years for which surveys were conducted. If you click on a country and year, you see a list of survey reports. From this page, you may download the reports directly, and these reports can provide summary information that may be of interest to you. However, to create a PPA in the wizard, we'll need the raw data. The raw data will be in tabular format, with each row representing a survey respondent and each column representing a variable associated with the survey respondent. So let's go back and click on Data Available for the country and year that we want. You will most likely want the standard DHS survey. Of course, our example, Country X, is a completely fabricated country, so you won't find its fake data here on the DHS website. However, if you do wish to explore the DHS data for Country X, it's available via the PPA website. By way of example, I'll click on Data Available for Afghanistan 2015. I'm showing this strictly as an example, all standard DHS surveys for other countries will have the same group of datasets available. Now I see a long list of options. The survey dataset you will most likely want is the individual recode file. The example data for country X is modeled after the individual recode. Recall that the PPA wizard requires the DTA format, and we see that this is available here. Now we know the data set we want, but we'll need to complete a request process in order to obtain it. You'll see at the top of the screen here, as would be the case for any country, there is a link to register as a DHS user. So we'll go ahead and click on Go Here to Register. As you can see, the registration process will involve supplying your email address, the name of your organization, and some other information. If I were to enter this information and click Save and Continue, I would be prompted to provide a description of how I plan to use the data. The raw DHS data is only available for legitimate research purposes. Your country, or the country you're interested in, may have requirements for using the data. The system will alert you if that's applicable. Once you submit a request for legitimate research, the DHS team will typically grant it within a few days. At that point, you'll receive a link in your email to download the DTA file that you need, along with any other datasets you specified as part of your request. When you download the zip file for the individual recode, you'll get the DTA file and several other files along with it. You can see that the DTA file containing the raw data is quite large. The remaining files contain helpful documentation, including variable and value codes. Both the FRQ and the FRW files show frequency tables for all variables included in the dataset. The FRQ file shows the unweighted frequencies, and the FRW file shows the weighted frequencies. Both can serve as a helpful reference.
a fictional FRQ file for Country X is available for reference on the PPA website. Once you have this zip file containing the raw data and the documentation, you'll be ready to work with the DHS data in the PPA wizard. Good luck!